Hi guys. Hello. What's up? We have exciting news. We do have exciting news. So uh, we've been searching and putting in work and trying to find a property. Um, this is not going to be a personal property. This is going to be an investment property. So this is going to be, um, we have a property that is under contract as of today. Yeah. And we are, um, we are searching for, uh, one of our loans currently. We have one underway. So the way that we're, we're making this work is... Um, is using hard money and private money. Mm -hmm. And um, currently we have 2,000 of our own dollars and that's it in, in this deal. And then the rest is going to be funded by private money and hard money. So a hard money loan is, is a little bit different than a conventional loan. It is a little bit higher interest payments, but... Um, it's typically around like 10 to 12 percent, actually 10 to 15 percent, uh, depending on where you get it. And then the uh, private money is about the same, um, but the the points um, are a little different. So points are usually what you bring to the table. Um, so for instance, uh, one of the loans that that might be what we go with for the additional monies is uh so it's thirty five thousand dollars for um three points so the three points will be one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars so it's three percent of of, of thirty five thirty five thousand dollars mm -hmm. and then the um the interest rate on that is ten percent so and another um another thing i'll just break we'll just break down how we found the deal and then um, how we're funding the deal, how much how much everything is. Yeah. Um, so we actually made a post on next the next door app, um, and in our in our community, um, someone reached out and said that they wanted to sell a property close close to where we are, mm -hmm. um, in Seguin, but they ended up having a property in in uh, San Antonio that worked out a little, a little bit better for us. So we went and saw the property, uh, we liked it, and we sent in an offer that night. Um, they accepted the offer, and today we put it in, in, uh, in... We went to the title company. Yeah, we went to the title company, and we put down our earnest money and gave them the contract, so we now have it under contract. Uh, the... The seller, oh, us and the sell, the seller agreed on a price of a hundred thousand dollars for this home, um, which for a lot of the people that may be watching this video is like nothing. Yeah. Especially <laughs> if you're on the West Coast. That's I like, mean, it is a really good deal for us too. Yeah, it's <laughs> it is a really good deal. Um, and so to break down the numbers a little bit, um, so we're paying a hundred thousand dollars for it. And the ARV, which is after repair value, is is going to be around two hundred and forty thousand dollars. So we are going to put close to seventy thousand dollars in in repairs, uh, a renovation into the house. Um, that's our renovation budget. Mm -hmm. Potential profits are around seventy thousand um, dollars, and that's if we use the entirety of the the renovation budget, and that's. Um, and, but we also have to subtract our closing costs so when we turn around and sell it and then our potential realtor fees if we choose to go that route mm -hmm. um, so that'll that'll be probably close to fifteen thousand dollars but we'll still come out with around I would say around fifty thousand dollars in profit um, the house does have foundation issues um, but there has been a quote uh, that was given to the the, the sellers like six months ago. Yeah, it was it was over six months ago. Mm -hmm. So they they can't honor it. They have to they have to come in and do another estimate. Um, but it'll be it'll it'll probably be, be around the same. I'm saying it'll. I'm definitely thinking it'll be under twenty thousand dollars because it's hard to think that it would jump 
four thousand dollars in less than six months or yeah. six months. So it's Foundation Repair Central here too. Yeah, tech, <laughs> this part of Texas, this part of Central Texas is uh, Foundation Repair Central. Like everyone, everyone has foundation issues around here. Mm-hmm. So um, other other things about it is it needs special uh, outlets because it has aluminum. Uh, aluminum el- electrical wires. It needs a kitchen. It needs, it needs a kitchen. A ba- bathroom. The kitchen, yeah, the kitchen's been torn out already. The bathrooms need to be torn out. Maybe some walls be broken down. Yeah, we're we're thinking potentially take down some walls to open up the floor plan a little bit. Um, so yeah. so the living area is a little closed off, just like every house that was built in the seventies. Yeah. So, um, the wall that's over there is, um, uh, load bearing, load bearing. Load bearing. Yeah. so that's going to be a fun one to figure out, mm-hmm. possibly beams or something, but yeah, you guys will find out when we do Yeah. <laughs> what we're going to do. Yeah. It's going to be a very interesting project and the next, the next couple of weeks are going to be kind of stressful, but as soon as we get, get our money situation squared away, it's going to be just grinding we're just going to grind through this project as soon as the ink is actually as soon as the contract is signed and at the, at the closing table and uh before the inks even even dried is what they say before the ink has dried we it's will time. <laughs> we will be at that house we will be doing um we'll be tearing out stuff in the bathrooms we'll be we'll get a we'll get a garbage uh big old garbage bin there start tearing tearing things out that will not stay and just getting moving on this project um yeah uh if you guys have any questions about how how things are going or or just like any any questions about this process um feel free to feel free to reach out we don't have all the answers i mean we're this is our first first deal yeah um but we are funding this deal with only two thousand dollars of our own money. Honestly, we could have gone less, but yeah. But yeah, it's only only two grand of our own money. Further, like projects in the future will be more of our own money because we'll have money to invest. But right now, we don't have that money to invest, so we're we're gonna try to show how you can still invest in real estate, mm-hmm. even if you don't use your own money. Yeah, and one of our goals eventually is to buy and hold properties, but this one we decided to flip because it would give us more capital to invest in more properties. Not only that, but it will also um, it was it would be hard, really hard to uh, make the numbers work for yeah. the amount of work that we needed to put into this home mm-hmm. because even even if we were to just do a buy and hold, we'll still need to put like like probably 50, 50 or 60 grand into the house. Yeah, we so have to pay people back too. All the Yeah, and you have to pay everything back and all all that stuff. So it's just like so we and we wouldn't be able to get a, a decent decent enough refinance to where to where that would actually work out in our favor. Mm-hmm. Um plus the rent in that area isn't enough to Technic or typically you want one percent a one percent rule. So where you the 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 valuation of the home or the value valuation of your uh, investment. So let's say if we were if we were to only invest one hundred fifty thousand dollars into the into the house, we would want fifteen hundred dollars in rent. And rent in that area is exactly fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So we would. We'd be it, kind of it, in a standstill. Yeah, it, would it, would, it wouldn't really work out that great. Yeah. So, and we would have to hard money, uh, hard money uh, refinance yeah. the, the house, which would be really high rate. Um, so, yeah, but anyways, uh, we're going to celebrate tonight because we have our first house under contract. Um, we're going to eat so some good exciting. food and hang out and watch some TV and... Yep. And relax. We also got a ton of stuff done in the house today. So yeah. everyone that is trying to get into real estate, just trust the process. Mm-hmm. It took us so long to get here. 
It actually hasn't been that long. I mean, I mean in, in the whole scheme of things, it hasn't been that long. It took us a year to get here. Like, there's there's people that have don't buy their first house, and like, and they've been trying for years and years, and we're doing it in, in less in than a year. year. I guess. It felt kind of long. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like It the, felt long because, you know, you spend all these hours in a week putting in work into yeah. this thing, and it's so frustrating sometimes because it's like, sometimes it feels like nothing's happening. Yeah. And then once we finally got into a groove and figured out what works here, I feel like it just started rolling in. Yeah, and we really we have really honed in our focus on real estate because we know that it can make us it it can make us a living. Like mm-hmm. it can change our lives, it can change our families' lives, like it, it will it will change our lives. Mm-hmm. So, and I mean, we were doing like Uber Eats delivery and stuff like that before and things that like made us not happy at all. And now we're just hustling and we're, we're stoked about life. Like I'm the happiest I've been in months because I'm not doing something that I'm miserable doing. We're just doing what, what we feel like pretty much. Yep. It's like, yep. Do we feel like? Realistic. We're, We're being realistic and we're doing what, what we, what we want to do. That makes that still makes money. Yes. So, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, please don't be afraid to ask in the in the comments. Uh, please like, subscribe, and follow us on this journey of, of buying buying a home with only two thousand dollars of our own money. Oh, yep. I'm so excited. Love you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Hi guys. We got an update. Update. So, we found our hard money. We are good We're to go. Set. We are set on this project. Now we just got to get everything lined up as far as our general contractor goes. Uh, foundation repair, we just had a conversation with them. Uh, they apologized for taking two days to call us. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they're busy. Yeah, because they said they're kind of booked out until June. So. Yeah, they're booked out pretty far, which is kind of... It's like eh, but it's not whatever. Right timing for us, we'll be I'd able say. to do most of the things that we need to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, in a couple of weeks we'll be able to like get. The... So between closing, which is going to be likely May 11th, and be- between the time uh, that we close and the time that we get start getting the foundation repaired, they said it's only going to take five days for that many peers. So that's awesome. But, um, so we're going to be able to get electrical looked at and squared away. Um, we won't be able to, we'll probably be able to tear out most of the, uh, most of the bad, um, like sheetrock and everything. We'll be able to get all that squared away. Um, we'll get the, we'll get the water softener looked at. We'll get, we'll get a bunch of things done in that time between um yeah between well anyways okay so we got the we got the funding now now it's just time to find everyone to get this project done yep and it's april 20th and we are set to close may 11th but we could close before that too yeah we definitely can today is the 21st today yes today is the 21st of april a little update and we got part of our funding today um, it cleared our account, or actually it'll clear our account tomorrow. Yeah, so our uh, next step is to get statements. Yeah, our next step is to get statements, and this is this is something that a lot of people our age may run into, um, unless you had a good mentor or a good someone coaching you. Yeah. Um, neither of us have good credit. Um, I didn't know how easy it is to repair credit until until just recently. So, uh, we will have to get a co-signer on this project. Uh, we have a few people that are definitely interested. Um, well, actually, one person who's definitely interested, my dad. And then, uh, potentially, we haven't told her dad, mm-hmm. but we will. Um, and potentially him. Yeah. And then, uh, potentially my grandma. Um, so, we're kind of throwing around this we're gonna approach grandma first and then we'll we'll double check with my dad to see if he can get his credit score checked out um and then 
lastly, we'll check with your dad. Yep. Um, so this is a way that a lot of people can uh, get lending. Um, we're gonna make it to where, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna profit from this as well. We're gonna make whoever co whoever co-signs ten percent owner. Yeah. Um, so that means that they will make 10% 10 of, of whatever profit we make. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what it is, they'll send them, they'll make that 10%. Mm -hmm. And then come the next deal, we'll be able to do it on our own, but yeah. we'll still, we'll still want to bring people on that are a family so that we can, so that we can, uh, bring our family up and have our family be prosperous and have our family make money off of these kinds of deals and stuff because that's my my end goal is to improve improve our community and improve the wealth of our family yeah the wealth and prosperity of our family yeah where we're at right now is where family's a bit unsure they don't really want to invest their money right now some some, some. of the family not all family but they they just haven't seen the the results yeah so yeah, they're they a little bit skeptical the, yeah they want to see the results they want to see us have success first and then they'll invest next yeah which is kind of like sorry about the road yeah which is kind of like a hit but at the same time it's like it doesn't really hit us too hard because we know we're gonna kill it yeah regardless it. regardless of their opinion we're yeah. still gonna do this and we're still gonna succeed so it doesn't really matter if they if they believe in us or not at the moment. Yeah. Um, and it's not it's not necessarily that either. It's not necessarily that they don't believe in us. They just don't know of all the they, ways. They're just unsure. Them. They're yeah. just unsure of how we're doing things and how how we could be successful without using our own money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and since this is a mostly outside outside funded deal. They, they're just like, how is that even possible? But yeah. we're going to show them how it's possible. It's so crazy. It is It is definitely about. crazy. Today, or this this week, that we need to get things squared away, we need a co-signer. Yeah. And so, uh, today we also got a quote for builder's insurance. Yeah, we got, we got builder's insurance kind of set up. We need to just go in and pay for it. So it's builder's risk insurance. Yeah. Um, it's a builder's risk policy on the amount that is being lent to us. Um, and it is, uh, it's really inexpensive actually. So breakdown of those numbers, it's like, like $300 for, for $150 and, and the deductible is a thousand dollars. Yeah. So that's if something happens to the home while we're remodeling, then we can get some money back for it. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a insurance policy for builders. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's uh, it's smart to to listen to the people that that use their money for this kind of stuff all the time. Um, just like don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't yeah. don't like a lot of people. I mean, I kind of felt this way when I first started in real estate. Fake it till you make it. It's not true. Be honest. Be honest. If you if this is your first deal, say it's your first deal. And yeah. people will help you. People want, like a lot of people want others to succeed in this in this realm. Yeah. Because it's just like, there's enough wealth in it for everyone. Really though. And I feel like one thing we learned, very, like, since we got here is just to be genuine. Yeah. Just be yourself, be yeah. genuine, and work hard. Yeah, we've gotten the best, the best feedback from people when we have been completely honest. Yeah. So it's just like... And it, it makes sense. Like it's not it's not hard to tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So yeah, and uh so the the seller of the home is all updated on what what's going on. I told I told her that we have uh we're getting the the funding squared away and we'll we'll definitely close on or before May eleventh. Yes, um we also talked to her about getting a lockbox. We need to go in and get yeah. measurements. We need to measure everything out. We need to get, um, well, we will need to get the appraisal um, appraiser in there for the for the loan, mm -hmm. and then we'll also need to get um, uh, contractors in there so that we can get some estimates going. Yep. So that's that's where we're at currently, and uh, so we're. 
we're a little, I feel like we're a little bit ahead of the game with where we are at with lending. Mm -hmm. We're ahead of the game as far as like, we sh or we, sh we kind of have it, had it a little switched up. Next time we go into a project, we need to bring in contractors first, get, get estimates going. I know that, I know that the estimate's going to, I mean the, yeah, the estimate's going to be close to my numbers. Yeah. It won't go over. Yeah. Because I, I put a lot of money into that estimate. So, I do not believe it'll go over. Um, especially with the foundation repair people coming back and saying that it's not going to be over $20,000 $20, to do the foundation. Yeah. So, I'm really confident in, in those, like, how close I am with, with my numbers. Yeah. So, um... And the the seller also kind of confirmed confirmed the numbers when yeah. when we were going over it, and he's he's a seasoned investor in this area, so they were planning to renovate it they themselves. Were, they were too, planning so planning they... to renovate it, and um, and they just they just don't have the time and, and yeah. vigor to do it anymore. So they knew the numbers and everything yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. When we first went to go see it, they told us us. Ah. Ah, Words can't today, talk <laughs> They told us all the numbers and stuff, and it's pretty much the same. Yeah. So, yup. Oh, my arm is real tight now. I think that's all our updates. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, we'll we'll probably check in tomorrow. I mean, yeah, probably check in tomorrow. Um, if anything eventful happens. Yeah. Um, sorry for all the shakiness and road and stuff we don't have like a, a gimbal for the camera so yeah our tripod only has two legs now yeah snapped, the, snapped one off last night yeah but uh yeah we'll, we'll keep you up to date on everything love you guys yeah. and see you soon look at there's emus emus they're getting so big okay anyways bye guys Hello. It's the next day the 23rd the 23rd we are or we went over to so we had to do some things for funding. Um, like we said, if th if this was next month, we would be able to do this deal ourselves. But since it is not, um, we have to bring my dad into the deal. Um, oh my oh, gosh, that lightning. was so cool. Oh gosh. That was so cool. It's lightning and thundering and raining it's all It's great, today. it's so great. It's I love scary. it, I love it. But anyways, um, so today, that's what we did. We woke up, we went to the title company um, we got the, the forms to take her name off and to put my dad's name on. Mm -hmm. um, and then we brought everything over to the, uh, to the seller's house um, to, to get them signed. Oh. So we, we left, oh, I, I, I emailed her a couple, I emailed her one so that we can get um, foundation repair uh, estimates done. Yeah, that's what we did this morning. That's too. what we did this morning. Well, yeah, well, I'll, we'll get to there. Okay. But but the last the last two hours we spent with the seller and we had a great time because yeah. I mean she's so nice and then her she had her two grandkids uh, granddaughters there two of her two of her how many a lot yeah she has a <laughs> lot of grandkids and um, but yeah we were just hanging out just having fun these kids were making us laugh the entire time I was crying yeah was I was great. laughing so hard <laughs> it was so funny and then. Um, but yeah, that, I, I feel like that's something that, like, this is a transaction, yes, but, I mean, it's between people. Like, yeah. So, like, the other person isn't just a number, it's just, they're, they're, they're people. Yeah, making so, connections. So, making connections, making, and we found out today that she had, they have a ton more properties, and they, they might want to sell in the future, so... That's something that we we found out today while we were over at her house and just chatting and having fun and yeah and, I would hang out with them yeah I would hang out with them again ten yeah. out of ten would <laughs> hang out again anyways um, we did that but we so we did that but but majority of the day was calling contractors setting up appointments for estimates and then calling uh, foundation repair companies to set up estimates as well so that was majority of our day today. Yeah. Um, and so foundation is a little bit tough right now because a lot of people are booked out pretty far out but we got a hold of about three companies i think we got right a now. hold of more than three 
we well, got. Well, we scheduled with two so we far. We scheduled with two. We have we have two that. Two more. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we scheduled with two more. We have that other one. Um, that's kind of like in our back pocket. Like if anything else fails, like if we can't find anything else, then we'll go with this one. Yeah. But they're kind of spotty. Like they're so busy. I I understand it, but it's also kind of cruddy because it's like, hey, we. Like we're we're business, we're customers, yeah. we're, we're people that want to pay and and get things going. Yeah. But they are, uh, yeah, they're not really responsive. Responsive. So yeah. we're gonna figure that out regardless. And then as far as contractors go, I called probably ten, maybe ten. Think so. Maybe ten. Yeah. And then um, I I left a message on maybe one because they had a bunch of really good reviews. But, like, everyone else that didn't answer their phone, I didn't leave a message. It's just like, okay, well, I understand that everyone's getting spam calls right now, but, hey, I wanted, I wanted business, and I'm going to I'm gonna talk to the people that answer the phone first, and then I'll go to the other people next. Like, if, if the people that answered the phone fall through, yeah. then I'll go to the other people next. And I think we have about three contractors scheduled this week. Yeah, Three, or, two or three, whatever, or something like that. I think it, or maybe it's two. It might be two, but, but yeah, we have we have that scheduled. Yeah, we have two foundations and two contractors right now scheduled yep. for next week. Yep. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now. We need to get these estimates done so that we can. Um, uh, the the lending company wants a aud- itemized uh, spending report, like what what we're gonna spend spend the money on uh, mm-hmm. in this in this uh, this transaction. Yeah. And, like specific. Yeah, very specific stuff, and um, just like how much you're gonna spend on the backsplash in the kitchen, like yeah. stuff like that. Like what are we gonna uh, what amount of the budget are we gonna allot to that? Yeah. So we're going to do that probably in the next few days we'll attack that. Someone's dog. Oh, more lightning. Scary. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow, I think, well, we want to go on our date thing tomorrow, so maybe we won't go measure it tomorrow. No, we can do it on Monday because we have that big gap. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We can do it on Monday. We have two appointments on Monday and like three hours in between them. So yeah, so we'll we'll do a bunch of measuring measuring stuff on Monday. Um, Tomorrow we have our chill day where we can go eat sushi and relax. Yeah, we're gonna go eat sushi and celebrate celebrate yeah. that we got our first house under contract. I'm excited. And that we're we're so close to closing. Like as soon as we get everything squared away with the lender, like they'll approve everything and. And we'll we'll have a house that that could net us a lot of money. So I'm I'm stoked. I am so stoked about it. But it's just like every every little bit. There's like, a lot to think about. There's so much to think about, and it's like I don't know. Like I just ramble on and just like kind of push everything out, and she helps me organize everything. So like I just like I'm super random just. Blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, okay, notes, notes, notes. And she'll she'll put it in her phone like, oh, we need to do this. We need to do this. We need to do this. You said this yesterday. So it's kind of convenient that we, uh, I mean, actually it's really convenient. Like we're, we're a match made in heaven because like I am, I am the creative. She's very creative as well. But I'm like in this, this realm, I'm the creative mind and she's the organized mind. So yeah. it's pretty... Ooh, yeah. That lighting. That lighting is so good. Um, but yeah, we uh, we're super excited. Yeah. Yeah. We we are so close to getting a home. My dad's super stoked about it. My my mom is is not as stoked about it just because she's she doesn't know really how this is happening. The process. So, uh, we haven't told your parents yet. Um, yeah. that will well, happen soon. Well, they probably will know by the time this video is up. Yeah, they'll probably know. Yeah, we'll we'll probably tell them when we close. Yeah. Um, just because that's, it's like surprise. It's it's a it's official. It's, it's official. It's it's our house. 
Yeah. But anyways, anyways that's love it. you guys. Thank you for following along. Today we're running more errands. More errands. We close this week. Yeah, yeah, we will. We will close this week. So we're going to the title company right now and to insurance. Yep. To change the names and everything for the lenders and all that stuff. And then I don't know what else we have today, real estate wise. Um, not a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, Tomorrow's a bit more busy. We have. Yeah. Tomorrow we have appointments. Um. So we'll get everything lined up with uh. So we're paying. We have. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why they have to do this. Foundation companies, they charge. They charge if you're not the homeowner. But yeah. if, if you are the home, it's like we, it's like by the time the work's gonna happen, like I'm gonna be the homeowner. So it's like, why are you charging? Yeah, a it's fee? like why are you charging me a fee? Yeah. Like, and and it's <laughs> it's ridiculous too because we were talking about it. If if we were a foundation company and we were scamming people like this, yeah. like wouldn't it be so easy to just like, like charge the hundred fifty dollars and then just give an outrageous foundation. Estimate. So they don't go with you. So they don't go with you, and then you just make that hundred fifty dollars. That makes no sense. Like it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, and one foundation company we called. Oh my gosh, there was that lady was so snobby. Yeah, because she was like, it's a two hundred and fifty dollar fee if you're not the owner. And we're like, well, we'll be the owners next week, so let's just schedule for next week. And she's like, our phone calls are recorded, uh, and I can't she's do like, that. She's like, you could just call next week if yeah. you're the homeowner. Yeah. Now it's like. Oh, whatever. Dub. So dumb. But yeah, we have two more foundation appointments tomorrow. Sorry, we gotta we gotta roll down the windows. Yeah. I think that's it. Tomorrow we're gonna get a couple more measurements and yeah. start sketching out the design. Hello, we're back at the house. Hi, what's up? Oh we didn't record any of this. Well that's fine. Oh wait, the screen record? Yeah. And it's dark right here. Shoot. We just did the original floor plan and now we're working on the new stuff on what we're gonna update and renovate. Um, we've been here since like nine in the morning, 10 in the morning. We had two foundation appointments. We're still in the middle of one. We just- We think. Maybe, we don't know where he went. <laughs> But, um, yeah, here's what the floor plan's looking like so far. Oh, hold on. He just added that toilet. Now I'm going to try to add this vanity. Yeah, this is the new updated floor plan that we are thinking of doing. We've got lots of ideas. Now just figuring out what makes the most sense. But yeah, it's pretty cool. SketchUp. SketchUp is so cool. It's neat. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to be fiddling around with this for a while. Anyways, I don't know what else to... I think that's it. That's all we've really been up to. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the first foundation appointment gave us hope <laughs> with uh, pricing. Sounds like they might do it for a good price for us, but we'll see what this last foundation estimate says, and maybe we have our foundation person finally. Excited. Hi, hey guys. guys. We're here. What's up? So, a little update. Um, it looks like we will be closing on the house this upcoming week. Um, it's May 1st, May 2nd. Right today, now? yeah, today's May 1st. We'll probably close on the week of, uh, what, the 7th? Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, the week of... Next upcoming week. Week of the 3rd, 3rd, so Monday the 3rd. Yeah, so, um, pretty so exciting. So, we never let them know that the first, with our lending situation... All right, so... So here, let's just let's just sit sit down. sit down, yeah. Okay, so just to give a quick little breakdown of what's going on, um, so our first lender kind of dropped out 
Um, we had, we, we still have our, our private money lender that we're, we're utilizing. Thank you so much for yes. that, by the way. Um, and so the way that we're setting this up is, um, we're going through a private lender in, in our town. So he actually owns, um, a recycling company and a, and a couple different other things in, in the Guadalupe Comal area in Texas. Mm -hmm. And, um, and he just has money available to invest in things like this. Which is awesome for it, us. It's, it's perfect for us. We, we contacted, um, the, one of the guys that manages money for like a group of people and, um, and the way it's going to work is they will pay for the house. We're going to put 20000 down from the, the previous um, investor. So that $20,000 uh, or twenty five, we we're, we're putting 25, 25. 25 in. Um, and then we'll have the remainder as a contingency just in case anything happens. Um, and then we will be... Um, uh, the, so the... The way this the way this loan is is working is we don't have to pay anything off until the end. Yeah, which is awesome. We don't have to do monthly payments. Yeah. And there's no draw fees. Mm -hmm. And we can get the money fast. Yeah, we can we can literally deal. text him just be like, "Hey, we need money for for sheetrock and whatever," and then he'll send us the money like within a couple hours. Which is really great because like if you go with big big hard money yeah big stuff. big hard money lenders and and uh, i mean traditional lending as yeah. well you have to go through draw fees inspections act uh what is it appraisals yeah like, you have to go you have to jump through so many hoops in the, in the credit and then all these different things and i just told him up front i was like hey my credit was wrecked from from covid and like i had to use credit cards to survive and this is this is where we're at yeah. And he just he just showed up to the house and we had a little sit down interview with him and he saw he saw the equity in this house. He saw where we're going with this and we just did a walk through showing him everything that we have to do. I mean it, it is an extensive project, but but he did say this is great. Like he said this he is said a great investment. He said you guys will make money on this. Yeah. So is, that's that's just reassuring our feelings about yeah. about this home. Um, another thing about this, so a lot of people are afraid to get started in, in real estate investing. Mm -hmm. We have only used 2000 of our own dollars. Sweet. We could have used even less, but we, we just had that. We had it. We had it. We had it. We could have put 500. We could have put probably 200 mm -hmm. in and they would have been fine with it. But we literally just put twenty thousand dollars in, contacted the the title company. Two thousand dollars. Yeah, two thousand dollars. Twenty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we only put two thousand dollars in and contacted the title company, and and have gotten to work. Yeah. So, this yeah. is like if if real estate is a dream of yours, I want I like I want to say go in go into it with caution and do every bit of research that you possibly can because we have it organized with spreadsheets we're going to have a certain budget for everything that we buy mm -hmm. and we're going to have a contingency i feel like that's a huge thing that a lot of people skip out on so a contingency is just a set aside amount of money like for instance 10 percent. so for, for our for our remodel we have we have seventy thousand dollars for the remodel and then we're going to have $7,000 or sorry, $70,000. Does that say 70? Yeah, $70,000 $70, for the remodel. We're going to set aside $7,000 just in case anything happens. Because like if the, if the sewer hookup is jacked up, that's like five grand. If, if the electrical is, is more than we expected, that's going to be more, that's going to be a lot more expensive. Just anything plumbing related, efficient. electricity, roof, things like that anything that happens we have we have a plan for it we have money set aside just in case so mm -hmm. just keep that in mind that nothing ever goes perfectly according to plan yeah so 
I mean, it may it may go according to plan, like perfectly, but like Honestly, it would be it would be better to be prepared. Yeah. It's been so awesome though, like how things are like coming out to be, like how God's really taking care of us. Because mm -hmm. like the first way we tried to go through hard money and like other things, it's like and that didn't work out for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now we found something even better, mm -hmm. and it's like. Yeah, and this awesome. is this is a, a great thing because we literally sat down and had a conversation with this lender instead of like, hey, I need this much money, blah, 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 and like emails. Duh, 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 duh. Like, sure, we had text conversations before this, but he said, hey, I want to meet you out at the house and walk through it and see what yeah. you guys like your envision, your vision is. Whereas if, if we go through any other lender... We just got to like type that out in a paragraph and explain yeah. like, oh, we want to take out some walls and blah, blah, blah. They don't see the house. Mm -hmm. So they're very understanding. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very understanding. And I can see us working with them in the future. Like, especially if we, if we use our, our friends and, and family money mm -hmm. and go that route and we have all that money tied up, yeah, then we could also use, use this lender mm -hmm. and and use his use his money to get more houses yeah we can flip multiple houses at the same time it's exciting stuff it's very exciting and and we were just watching i think it's perfect it was perfect timing because we were just watching last night we were watching uh chip and joanne Gaines. yeah who who started pretty much like this mm -hmm. they started flipping houses and look at them now they're they're definitely they're definitely loaded but <laughs> but it's just like that's they have they have impacted their lives their family their community they have they have helped so many people along the way that's the goal that is the goal that is exactly what we want to do mm -hmm. and i feel like i feel like a lot of people feel the same like they want to get into something like this but they may be afraid a big thing i would say is networking too don't be afraid oh, to reach 100%. out to people. One hundred percent. Like I feel like that's all this revolves around is yeah. just building that community. Go to meetups, meet more people, talk to people, yeah. ask for advice, yeah. ask questions. Like don't be afraid. Yana also said it perfectly um, the other day. We are literally just organizing people to get a job done. Yeah. And we have all this money and funds available, and we're investing in the in these people in order to to have an end product mm -hmm. so it's just like we're assembling we're the organizers we organize everything everyone we have the vision and then they just do it yeah and then and then they do it like we put that image in their head it's so, just wild to think about yeah it's very wild to think about uh the way that we see it um right now is we're gonna have to do a lot of the work yeah, um, a bit more than we thought. Yeah, a bit more than we thought. Um, maybe we should have had more of a budget for the remodel, but I feel like seventy thousand dollars is a lot of money for for what this house is, yeah. um, and for the the area that we're in. Like, I feel like a lot of a lot of the contractors have have really thought about um, maybe over like overdoing things a little bit like too too high end of finishes and stuff like that yeah. because i mean we do want to make it nice but we don't want to price ourselves out of the neighborhood and price ourselves out of out of the area because if like and by by that i mean um like the finishes are so so extensive and so um so expensive that that it ends up it ends up being um not sellable almost. yeah it's not sellable it's like if we pay if we pay for for marble marble flooring yeah. marble different like in sense. like crown molding and all these different things and custom cabinets and all all this it's yeah. it's really not going to make sense to to sell this house for 240 but that's the only that's the only types of houses that are selling in this neighborhood yeah so in this area it's like they they list them for for two hundred twenty five thousand, and then they sell for over over listing price about ten to fifteen percent, which would then put it around two forty. Mm -hmm. So, 
We are going to have nice finishes. Mm -hmm. we, we have like things we want to put more money into and some things not so much. But like, like an example is like butcher block countertops. It's like one, it saves a lot of money and it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. And on top of that, people love it. People like it a lot. Yeah. Like it looks good. We have it in our kitchen. Yeah, we have it in our nice. kitchen. It looks damn good. Yeah. So. Picking and choosing what we prioritize. Yeah. And spending more money on. Yeah. We love you guys. Don't give up on your dreams. Yeah. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You can find a way to do it. If if you can't find a way, ask and network and someone will help you, okay? Yeah. We love you guys and we hope that this video helps you and we'll be seeing you guys soon. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I it's stop. real dark. It's real dark. Sorry. Good morning. Hi. We just got the estimate for the foundation. And it's going to work. Week. It's going to work for our budget. And um, yesterday the we had a we had a dude that was super condescending. Like I'm yeah. just, I understand we're young, but like I've inspected foundations and I've inspected like concrete pours and it, like he's he just was just talking down. He was just yeah, it's just like dude, don't assume mm. stuff. Like sure, like I don't know, I don't know a bunch of stuff, but like That's your I, job. I know way more than you think. Yeah. Like don't don't talk down to people when you don't know them. Yeah. Like it's like you have no idea who I am. Yeah, and he did give us a decent price. It was a little bit out of our range, but. Just that vibe kind of put yeah, us off. Yeah, he, he put us off big time. Yeah. He's like, oh, like, we got, like, we've had this company for 30 years, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, and like, just, it's like, cool, you have a reputation. Salesy. And then, yeah, super pushy, super salesy, and it's just like, that's not the vibe that we're going for. Yeah, and the person that gave us an estimate before, she was super nice, and it was very easy. She just came there and did her job. Yeah, seriously. And was just nice. And yeah, super nice person. We got the estimate this morning, and it's like literally perfect in our budget, yeah. which is awesome. So that's good news. And now we're going to go to the title company and sign some more papers. Yeah. And then we have a real estate meetup. And, and yeah, and then after that, we have more appointments. So we'll just take you guys along. Yeah, we're going to go on a bunch of appointments today. Yep. Peace. Peace. It's a beautiful outside today. It's a good day to have a good day. Things are slowly coming together. Or actually not slowly. Things are like piling up now so it's awesome. We're on a roll. And we close either tomorrow or the next day which is exciting. We just got done with the meeting. We forgot to mention that we bought Butcher Block yesterday. Yeah, we I don't bought think we said it. for the island. Mm -hmm. We're going to put Butcher Block in for the island. Yeah, so we're going to go pick up the truck and go pick up that butcher block right now. And then have lunch. And then we have an appointment at the property at 4. At 4. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Got the truck. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where do you? Yeah, we found a really good deal on Butcher Block at Habitat because at Home Depot they're going for like 200 bucks. So we got these for like 140. So we had to get them because they only had two left. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh. Yep, the last two we got a great deal on them. That's why we got them so early. But yeah, now we'll just have these laying around for a while. Huh? But at least we'll have them. Yeah, true. Time for lunch and then we'll go to our appointment. It's like in an hour and a half or something. Hello! We got the puppy with us. We just had the meeting at the property and we went over like numbers and 
what labor is going to cost for some of the things that we don't want to do well, or shouldn't be doing. Yeah, <laughs> that we don't have the skill to do. Yeah. And that we don't have the time to teach ourselves to do. Yeah. Pretty much. Got some numbers down and stuff. Should I catch some fun? Where did you go? Oh. You want to run around? There we go. Yeah. And we got good news that we can start foundation on Monday. So today, perspective, today's Wednesday. So we can get started on this upcoming Monday. And we might, we may be closing tomorrow or the next day or on Monday. Or on Monday. <laughs> and then foundation is on Monday, which is just awesome because we kept getting estimates saying that they're so far out. So this foundation company has been a blessing. And yeah, that's our update for now. We're going home and then we got to look at more spreadsheets and numbers and stuff like that. Crunch and numbers. Yeah, crunch and numbers. Exactly. Hi guys. What's Good up? Good morning. Good morning. So we're kind of running around a little bit crazy today, but oh. We just got an email that, so yesterday we set an appointment to get foundation done on Monday and the plumber called us this morning and saying they're going to come look at the house. Luckily, we don't have to be there, which is awesome. So, we're getting plumbing checked out, which is great. Ooh, wiring instructions. Dang, that was fast. Yeah. Bunch of emails today. Yeah. Just emailing everyone back and forth because it's pretty much the, the final countdown. The last paperwork that we need to get done and wiring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we close. It's a beautiful day, and our pool looks blue. It's not green anymore. It doesn't look blue anymore. It's more blue than green. So now all those comments about our green pool come back off. All <laughs> our one green of them. Swamp. All one of those comments. You know they're just holding back. They're, they're thinking it in their head. True. Probably true. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're gonna figure all this stuff out. Hello. We just went to the title company and looked at numbers and stuff again. He sent us more emails about it. And now we're gonna go to our bank and get the wiring stuff handled. <coughs> and that's pretty much the last bit that we need to do. Crazy. Yeah, wire. Since we, since we did uh, earnest money, mm -hmm. um, a lot, a lot of people won't know this, but it, uh, so that's, that's the only money that we put up front. Yeah. But that's, that's like, that's like proving to the owner or the seller that you're interested. It's like, oh, the because, earnest money is like, because yeah. that's money, like you, if you don't end up buying the house, you won't get that money back. Yeah, they get to keep that. So they get to keep it. So that's like, hey, I'm really interested in buying your home. This yeah. is this is how interested I am. Like you can put down five hundred dollars, you can put down a dollar, yeah. you can put down you can put down any amount of money, um, just as long as the the seller of the home approves it. Yeah. But yeah, we uh, we put down two thousand because we we had that available and we were definitely interested because the numbers made sense to us. Yeah, and we knew we were gonna go through with this, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's just no like way we're backing out. So and, and every step of the way, like even though there's points where it's like I don't know how to do this, and we just said to ourselves, we're gonna figure it out regardless. Yep. So, yeah, we we threw down that that two thousand, uh, got everything under contract, and then all the money came after. Mm -hmm. Like we we thought that like oh yeah we got to get all this stuff approved first, but we literally had. 30 days to get things figured out and a lot of people were like oh yeah how do, how do you get that much money in 30 days it was really easy yeah it was actually really really easy it all makes sense now too it's like a lot of people do say no find the deal first and then the money and it makes sense because like okay you find the money and then like you don't really can't do anything about it because you don't have a deal mm -hmm. and like people probably don't want to talk as much because you're not bringing them a deal so like what is there kind of to talk about almost like other than that you know that person or that lender now mm -hmm. 
-hmm. which is like you can find them once you have the deal pretty much or you might already know them yeah you might be in your network already yeah yeah that's a that's a big thing too you you don't know who who has invested in real estate like we had no idea that some of our some of our close the close people in our in our network are like investing, are, are big time. investing big time in real estate. Yeah. And and we what we did was just we just took a, a piece a piece of paper and a, a pencil and just wrote down people that we know that we know that could potentially mm-hmm. get get money. Yeah. So and and sure we have to pay interest on that. We or we have to pay it off eventually, but it's not free money. Like, like you gotta yeah. pay for it eventually, but definitely I'll, look at the terms. L- yeah, the term the setting. terms are big. The terms are a big deal. So if you can't afford monthly payments, there are lenders out there that will allow you to lend off of off of the the merits of the deal. Yeah. So like if if the house is like it's just a really good deal, like like for instance this one we got it for a hundred thousand dollars. And the ARV is, is 240, and and we're probably gonna put about 70,000 into it, and that it all it all makes sense. Yeah. Like the numbers make sense. Even if we were to screw up royally, we're still gonna profit. We're still gonna make money. Like the only thing that would really happen that could potentially make us lose money is if the market tanks like tomorrow. Yeah. If the market, if the housing market tanks tomorrow then we're screwed but so are like millions of other people so and the likelihood of that happening with how happening with how much money they're pumping in into into the uh the economy right now yeah it's so unlikely like sure inflation is super crazy right now and just things are wild but it's so unlikely that the the market will crash tomorrow yeah the market is just crazy right now too people are paying way over asking yeah yeah, so in wow. the we, we talked to a realtor that works in, in the Live Oak area or San Antonio area and we asked him, I was like, Yeah, I, what I was seeing was like five five to eight percent over over asking price and he's like more like ten to fifteen percent over asking price. I, I feel like we'll get we'll get, like if we do everything right, which we will, like we'll we'll do the right finishes, we'll make sure our lines are nice, everything's everything's done correctly. Yeah. And and I feel like we'll we'll get probably 245 or 240. I mean maybe even more, who knows. Mm-hmm. So but yeah, I mean it's it's been fun. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Like I was terrified going into this. Terrified. Like I I've lost so much sleep over the last couple months, but it was for nothing. Like it was really not a big deal. And I was like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna find this money? It's like, we literally just called like two people and they're like, yeah, we'll fund the deal. Yeah. So just don't be afraid of it. It's not as it's not as big of a monster as you think it as you think it is. Yeah. So we're closing on the house today. Today's the day. Today's the day. <laughs> we're on the way to the title company right now. Yeah. I'm out. It's Friday. We have foundation coming in Monday. Monday. <laughs> so, literally perfect timing. We were super worried about the whole foundation situation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Foundation situation. Um, because a lot of people weren't going to be able to get us on the schedule for like months. 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 Yeah. yeah. At least a At month. Least. At least a month for, mm-hmm. for most of them. So, that like put us out like a month. And then the this foundation company they're like hey like a bunch of stuff moved around and we have an opening monday can you take it and we're just like uh yeah we'll figure it out let's let's do it so we're closing today may 7th may May 7th 7th. and then uh we'll be sending all of our routing information to the hard money lender and then he will route us the first the first draw which is going to be Yep. Quite a bit of money. And you guys will get to see the house finally. Yep. We can yep. do a tour. Yep. yep. Crazy. Super crazy. This has all gone so fast. We, so we, we, it's so crazy. 
we set a goal. Yeah. We're like, okay, 12 weeks. 12 weeks, we're going to buy our first house. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, man, like, I don't know if we could do it because I was like, our credit and blah, 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 all these different things. Like, this isn't great. That's not great. Like, where are we going to find a house? Like, what are where we going to do find with the money? it? Where are we going to find the money? And turns out, you just got to find the house. The money will come and have faith. That's pretty much it. Yep. Like, believe in it. Believe in yourself. Like, I. This has been the craziest two months, three months yeah, and ever. It hasn't even been the 12 weeks yet. Yeah, we were probably at what, like eight? Something like that. Probably like eight A little weeks over in. halfway. We're like, okay, yeah, at, at the end of 12 weeks, we'll, we're going to be able to buy, buy our house. house. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we're really, like, unsure of it, too. Yeah, but we're, we're there. Like, Here we are. <coughs> Crazy. Crazy stuff. Mm hmm. Now we can tell everyone. Yeah. Yeah. After today, we can tell everyone. Ah! So, yeah, we just, um, I mean, everyone still has to sign it, but we, we did our, our signing, and then everyone else is, is going to sign it uh, today. So, yeah, we, we closed on the house today, and uh, we just bought a house in San Antonio, Texas for $100,000 that is going to be valued at around two hundred and forty. dollars and so we're gonna make a decent amount of money if we do if we do all the the remodeling correctly. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come out on top. Yep. Yep. A lot of prayer, a lot of a lot of hard work, and here we are. But the craziest thing is that we just bought this house for only two thousand of our own dollars. That's it. Yeah. That's the craziest Crazy. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, we want to help people. If, if anyone has questions, please ask them. Um, we're still learning. But yeah, we're, we, we're we still yeah, we're we still learning. learning. Yeah, we'll always be learning. I think. Yeah, yeah, we're still learning, but we did this. Like, yeah. we did this in in less no, in like two months. In two months of just like a back Searching. and forth between. Oh no, we can't do that. Oh, we can do this. We, it's like we kept on second guessing ourselves and. We just had to have faith in in our in our skills and in our education. Yeah. Like this is all self-taught. Like I didn't learn this from really anyone. Yep. <coughs> Watch them YouTube videos. Yeah, YouTube <laughs> University. I mean, really I guess though. I did learn a lot from that. But I mean, everything in the last couple months, like it was just asking questions and yeah. and kind of figuring it out ourselves. It, like, and it, I feel like asking questions here is a big deal because people are local and they know like what what is best in this area, what works best, and like the laws and everything like that too, how everything works. Because YouTube videos are pretty broad. Yeah. With that. Yeah, and and some some techniques that work in one area won't work in another area. Numbers that work in one area won't work in another area. So yeah. it's just like. It's just trying to figure out what works best for your your loca- your location. Um, luckily, in Texas, a lot of the houses are, are lower valued. So, and and the crazy thing is, a lot of a lot of people that that you you probably know these people are investing in real estate. Yeah. And they maybe started out how we started out, or they're just the money side of it. So they they do transactions like this often, yeah. and and they just don't know that you're interested. Yeah. So it's just asking questions. It, like we we contacted two people for the for the um, the initial private money yeah. um, for the down payment and everything, and that was literally two people, and then we had the money. Yeah. And then it was a it was it was a little bit harder for the hard money as far as like the the acquisition price of the home, but that also wasn't that hard. Like we contacted, we we put a po- couple posts on Facebook, and then those those hard money lenders didn't really work out that great. Yeah. And then what we ended up doing instead is going through someone that we almost bought a house from. Um, and it, that would have been our first house, mm-hmm. but uh, 
uh, we went through him instead because he's he's local. He he knows the area. He knows he knows people that have money. He knows people that invest in real estate because you run it. You bump into them. Yeah. You bump you bump shoulders. You like it's it's people that you you wouldn't expect, but they're doing it. So, but yeah, I mean, anyone can do this. I mean, I would I would be happy to to teach people because because the the easier it is to teach the better I have an understanding of it like like if I could teach it to to like an 18 year old kid with zero zero knowledge of real estate then that means that I have a full grasp and understanding of it so I mean if anyone if anyone wants to know what we did I'm, I'm not saying we're experts or anything like that and then it's not like I'm gonna start making courses or say I'm a guru or anything like that but like this is something that is it is you can replicate it yeah it's very it's some, attainable too. yeah it's something that anyone can do you just gotta work hard yeah yeah anyways exactly. love you guys thank Bye. you guys for watching and we just bought a home <laughs>